Hello Taurus, welcome to your February 2019 reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Thank you for joining me. Let's get into your Oracle cards. Interesting, because from Lay Vampire, you've pulled the card of Prey. Now this speaks about being stalked, invaded, watched. Mm. So what's going on here, uh, Taurus? The, the main message that I get with this is that you are strong, clever, powerful, and you're able to make a stand. To make a stand against anyone who may be using some kind of bullying tactics or to one who wishes to blame you for their own bad behavior. You did not attract the circumstances that you find yourself within. You have a great deal more power than they wish you to have. Mm. So with this one, there may be lies, manipulations taking place to make you accept some kind of circumstance. But Taurus, you can change this and, and say clearly, no, this is not right. And it's not for me. So do not allow yourself to be prey. Do not refuse to help yourself or fall into patterns of victimhood. Take good advice and demand what is yours by rights, including innocence. And be strong in the face of one who would devour you. You cannot always win, but the greatest battle you face at present is the one within you that says, I give up or nothing ever goes my way. It can and it will when you believe you are worth fighting for. So it's a message of standing up or standing up to bullying tactics. It seems that someone may be attempting to... I don't know. It, it seems to be some kind of circumstance you find yourself in that... I don't think it is is your fault, but there, there's some kind of being drawn into a situation. So we'll see where this goes. Now, from the Witch's Wisdom, you've pulled the Watchtower of the West. This relates to the to autumn, which you think of autumn, you think of fall, and of course regeneration, and how plants regenerate or use the autumn to regenerate. I should say. Now, the message around this card is about looking deep within to determine what really matters. I get the feeling that old ways or something that you've viewed, perhaps you've, it's how you viewed yourself, or it could be how you viewed this other person, uh, seems to be falling away. So with this, it's about changes, but Whatever the changes are, it's bringing about regeneration in the way that you, how you view yourself and how you view others. Could be this, uh, this bully person here. Now, the overall energy is interesting because you've drawn the card of fighting or the Knight of Clouds in the Osho Zen deck. Now, the Knight of Clouds is the Knight of Swords in traditional tarot. And it is the card of someone who is a fighter. The figure in the card here you'll see is completely covered in armour. Only his glare of rage is visible and the whites of the knuckles on his clenched fists. If you look closely at the armour though you can see it's covered with buttons ready to detonate if anybody so much as brushes up against them. And in the background we see a, a movie that plays in this man's mind. Uh, two figures fighting for a castle. So with this one, it seems to be some, you or someone around you has an explosive temper or a smoldering rage. Uh, it may be someone here who is trying, trying to frighten or, well, I get it more as some kind of avoidance using, using this kind of blustery kind of energy and again with prey I can't help but think this is the same person who is using some kind of harshness here to in, in, inflict some kind of or make you see their point of view or make you do something that, that you don't really want to do Okay, well, we'll see where this goes. That's the, the main energy that I'm picking up right now, Taurus, but uh, we'll see. 
I'll leave this as the overall energy and we'll get into your reading. I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit for uh, your energy and for the person that you're thinking about here I'm using the uh, Crystal Visions deck. So let's get started. I've already meditated on your energy so I'll cut these cards and let's think about what you have brought to this situation in the past. What has Taurus brought to this situation in the past? What has Taurus brought to? Okay. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. Well, with that, when I think of the page <clears throat> in the upright, in this case I see him as a, a, a card of the student, someone who is learning. It's going through a learning curve but willing to learn but there's also this energy around it of not quite being ready uh, there's a naivety here or not being battle tested so whatever this was in the past I, I can't help but feel that there maybe you've come up against someone here who was <sighs> thought that you would be a pushover or that that they could bend you in some way. Mm, let's see. What has this other person brought to this situation in the past? The person that Taurus is dealing with in February. What have, what have they brought to this in the past? Eight of Wands. So coming in quickly. Something happening really fast. Swift movement. Mm, okay might have been some kind of news that came in quickly communication now where you currently stand with this situation let's take a look where does Taurus currently stand with this situation where does Taurus currently stand with this situation the ten of pentacles in reverse okay so losing some security stability um, money even maybe a financial difficulty of some kind let's take a look and see what uh, where the other person currently stands where does this other person currently stand five of pentacles in reverse okay so for them that they they seem to be coming out of a, a period of feeling left out rejected, isolated in some way. They seem to have gone through a period of feeling like they are missing out or, or lacking, lacking in, in, some, in some way. Now, the thing is they're either starting to the process of, of, of things getting better or they're wanting they're wanting this to happen, they're wanting things to get better, to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, for things to improve in their life after going through some, some tough times, some struggles. Now, where you hope to be, where does Taurus hope to be with this situation in the future? Where does Taurus hope to be with this in the future? What are your hopes, Taurus, in this situation? hopes for the future for Taurus. Six of Swords, so moving on to calmer waters, uh, away from trouble, troubling times, perhaps some instability here that's in the current energy. So you're definitely wanting things to, uh, it may actually be physical travel, but I feel it's more about uh, travel in the mind, which means to me uh, leaving any kind of emotional instability or baggage behind freeing up your mind here so that you can move on being lighter of spirit leaving past troubles behind now the other person and where they hope to stand with this where do they hope to stand with this in the future Oop. we'll take one of these cards and the other card we'll leave as the clarifier for part two so let's take a look the four of swords so healing healing there seems to have been 
<coughs> some kind of swift movement here to get themselves out of difficulty. The Four of Swords tells me that their hope for this situation to heal them, a time of rest, recovery, recuperation in order to get that clarity of mind back so that they can really move on to, to the next phase of their life. So with this kind of energy uh, I get a, a very much a healing or, or need to heal around this person. It seems like they're wanting it to happen quickly. Let's take a look and see how you're viewing this person, Taurus. How is Taurus viewing this person? The world in reverse. Okay, so it may have been something that has been left unfinished in the past. There's been no closure. You may also view this person as being unsuccess unsuccessful in some way. It seems like there may be a cycle that they're going through that is difficult. It doesn't seem to be ending though. They, they don't seem to be moving on to better times, although I see that you want that. This other person seems to have more of an energy here of needing something to be finished or finishing off something. Now the other person, how they're viewing you, Taurus. Seven of Swords, okay. So they may see perhaps that, that you are have the potential to escape or leave behind responsibility of some kind they may also see you as someone who well there's not a lot of hmm, you know I can't help but think that this person somehow views you as an escape an escape from what is troubling them that's how I'm seeing that in this particular case because I get them as needing to heal from something let's take a look and see what your doubts and fears are doubts and fears for Taurus doubts and fears three of Pentacles so it may be that you're doubting this person's motivations that they'll actually be able to work with you cooperate with you to, to get something started or to get something going you, you're doubting you're doubting this person's uh, skills there I, I think that that it's really the practical side of them that disturbs you in some way here uh, Taurus now when it comes to the doubts and fears for this other person, let's take a look. Doubts and fears for the Taurus person that Taurus is dealing with. The moon in reverse. So they they are doubting that they're they're seeing things the the right way. There seems to be a lot of confusion around them, uh, illusion, uh, even some delusion as well something that it's like they they doubt their own mind it's that kind of energy I feel like it's doubting their own mind with that moon in reverse mm. Mm. okay this person seems to be a little bit troubled I think from what I'm getting let's take a look and see what the challenge is here for you challenge for Taurus challenge for Taurus what is the challenge for Taurus with this situation okay okay well I'm going to take one of these the other two I'm going to leave as the clarifiers and one's dropped on the floor so I'll grab I'll grab that one and I'll take uh, take this first card here. 
Let's take a look at the challenge. Five of Wands. Okay, well there's that standing up for yourself. Fighting for yourself. You know, I can't help but think that someone sees you as easy prey, an easy target in some way. And the card of prey is talking about you needing to stand up to a bully. And with the Five of Wands as a challenge, yeah, I do feel it like there's a need for you to, to fight. Fight against how this person sees you or how they are treating you in some way. Interesting. Let, let's have a look and see what the challenge is for the other person. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they, they seem to be someone who is unable to cope with the ups and downs of life. I don't know. For some reason, I think that there may be something going on mentally. And, and uh, of course, I'm not a doctor, so I can't diagnose anything here. But I get that there's something being hidden and some kind of inability to cope. Now, it may come out on the surface as this person... I get an energy around them as finding targets or, or, or finding people who are easy to bend to their wishes or bend to their what they want. Easy prey, easy, they, they see, and unfortunately Taurus I have it as you that they view as an easy target here. Uh, there's an energy of victimization here and I don't want to see you there. I'm getting red flags all over this, around this, whoever this person is. Now this could be a lover coming in, it could be a an acquaintance that, that is is that you're needing to stand stand up for yourself around it. This person seems to be coming in and kind of just riding roughshod and just wanting everything their their way. Mm, let's have a look and see what the outcome is here for you, Taurus. And then we'll go on to part two in the extended version. The link for that will be below in the descriptions box and that'll be on my Vimeo channel if you're interested if this is resonating with you here Taurus. Uh, interesting reading, lots to clarify in part two, I hope that you join me there. Let's take a look at the, uh, sneak, take a sneak peek here at the outcome. What is the potential outcome here? We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse, okay. So there is something here that may not be true. This person may be coming in here with some kind of offer but underneath it I get that there's something that you don't know about this. I get it as um, this person's intentions are not not on the up and up. Let's get another card. Potential outcome for Taurus. Five of Cups in reverse. Okay and we'll get one more. And the Seven of Wands in reverse. Mm. Yeah, real, you know, I think that this person has, may have a tendency here. I think it's someone from the past coming in with some kind of offer again. But I think you view it differently this time because I've got you with the Five of Cups in reverse, which signifies to me that there has been acceptance of a loss here and you're moving on. Now, with the Seven of Wands in reverse, I don't think that this is something that you, you're you willing to, to fight for. I think you're giving up on whatever this is, whatever this relationship is, or whatever this person is wanting from you. you I th with the card of Watchtower of the West, it speaks about seeing yourself and seeing others differently so i think when this person comes in they're just expecting you to be the same way as you were before to be kind of an easy target um someone that they can victimize but they're actually going to come across someone who's changed i think you see this person now for uh for for their behaviors and i think that you're standing up for yourself and saying no 
I think you're giving up on, on this, this person. So let's have a look and see what the outcome is for this other person here, Taurus. Eight of Cups. Six of Swords. So they seem to be walking away. And, okay, all right. This person's angry. I think they're angry that, that you haven't... Well, I get it that they're angry that you that you really haven't kind of just fallen back into the pattern that they were expecting you to. And they're angry that they're having to abandon this and, and, and walk away and try and find something else, find another person to, uh, to hurt, to victimize. Lots to clarify in part two, but I think that you have this person's number, Taurus, which is great, great to see. I, I just don't think that you see this person the same way as you saw them before. <clears throat> so I hope that you join me in part two. The link is below in the descriptions box, and that will be on the Vimeo channel. Hope to see you there, but if I don't see you there, I wish you all the best with this Taurus. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Wishing you all the best with this. It looks like um, <clears throat> you, you're starting to see people, you know, you're starting to filter people when they come towards you here, What what what's really um, going on with them rather than, I think... Uh, I think you may have fallen victim to this person before. So I think there's changes here. So um, please join me in part two. Wishing you the best with this Taurus and bye for now. I'll speak to you soon.